From punch hole cameras to pop-ups and shark fins, we have seen it all in the year 2019. Yet there is another new type of smartphone camera module in town. Not entirely new but very effective and promising. We are talking about the new Asus 6Z which has just been announced in the Indian market. Before we take a look at the sample images and videos, let's understand the camera hardware. The marquee feature of Asus 6Z is its movable flip camera assembly with a dual camera setup. The 48 megapixel primary camera uses Sony IMX586 sensor with an aperture size of f1.79. It works on quad bare technology to deliver high resolution pictures with better low light and HDR output. Sadly, there is no optical image stabilization support but you do get an improved face detection autofocus combined with laser autofocus. The 13 megapixel fixed focus secondary camera is a wide angle sensor with a 125 degree field of view. The moment you fire up the camera application, you are greeted with an interface which is one of its kind. The viewfinder on Asus 6Z refreshes at 60 fps which gives the interface a dedicated camera-like feel. There's no lag no matter how quickly you move the phone in any direction. The interface is also neatly designed and offers a variety of modes including a rich pro mode and even 4K time lapse. Interestingly, the volume rockers can also be used to control the flip camera to take some interesting panoramas. Coming on to the image quality, the smartphone captures crisp images with lots of details in daylight. The camera's image processing software does not saturate or boost colors. The pictures look quite natural on phone's IPS LCD panel as well as on a PC. If you prefer slightly cranked up contrast and saturation, you can enable the HDR enhanced mode. It boosts up the color tones, enhances dynamic range and midtones for a richer image output. However, it also increases the capture time of the smartphone. The difference between 12 megapixel and 48 megapixel shots is not very stark at first look. However, if you look closer, you will find 48 megapixel images display better overall contrast and richer midtones. 48 megapixel images also show better details but consumes up a lot of space on the device. The 13 megapixel ultra wide angle lens on 6Z captures the widest frame in the town. The 125 degree wide angle shots really add a new perspective to your photography experience. The lens distortion is very well controlled. If there's ample light, wide angle shots look good. Otherwise, they fail to impress as noise kicks in and details look soft when light conditions are not favorable. Once again, the low light camera performance is decent but not extraordinary. Images show lot of noise and details. The night mode helps to some extent, however, the results are not always pleasing. There are handsets that deliver better low light camera performance in similar price point. ASUS can improve the low light camera performance with some software updates, something which we have noticed with companies' previous smartphones. The video recording abilities of 6Z are really impressive. Even though there is an optical image stabilization, the electronically stabilized 4K videos at 60fps seem very stable. Videos look crisp and also sound better as the audio is recorded in stereo quality at 192 kbps. Even the 1080p 60fps videos are equally good. Asus 6Z can also record time-lapse videos in 4K which looks just awesome. You also get slow motion videos at 1080p at 240fps and 720p at 480fps. Now when you have the same camera working as a front-facing shooter, selfies are bound to look super crisp and natural. At the end, Asus 6Z is for users who want to buy a smartphone with an unconventional camera setup, flagship hardware, stock Android experience and a battery that lasts really long. The video recording abilities of this handset are very promising but the still camera performance could have been better via some software updates as the camera's hardware is quite powerful and can deliver some amazing results. Let us know what you think about this smartphone and the video and don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel for the latest videos in the world of technology. This is Rohit Roda signing off. Have a good day. Thank you.